A salmon just ate it. What's up guys? Today's gonna be a really different kind of day of fishing. Um, so the king salmon are pushing in to smaller tributaries from the from Lake Michigan. So we're gonna try to catch the run a little early. We're gonna see if they're in there. We're gonna throw some flies for them, throw some flies in some holes, see if they're garden beds and stuff. So if the salmon are there, that's what we're gonna be fishing for, fun stuff. If not, we're taking ultralight poles for trout and stuff like that too. So we're not stranded when we drive all the way there. It's a pretty long drive. So we end up going trout fishing in the spot where we would have salmon fished. There were only a few in there. So, I mean, it wasn't really worth it to try to fish for them, but I did <laughs> end up hooking one. You can see the, uh, the salmon eat my, uh, l my little spinner and take off and then he jumped. I guess you'll see, it's pretty cool. But yeah, we end up trout fishing. See you there. here just drifting my fly through the hole and I caught a trout look at that cool the salmon are pretty sparse and spoon are left with some trout some trout Nice. He's oh, off. Yeah. I got one too. A I got one. Wow. He's off. What's up with that? There's a good one. Nice. Back up. Or beach him right there, I guess. That is a good one. Played out. Where is he? Right here. Oh yeah, I had, you had one, I had one, and then you got this beauty. Damn it, I lost mine. That's a good one. Nice. That was in the lead. Yeah, I just had one too, and he got off. What the hell? this one. Oh, salmon just ate it. He's off. Oh my God, that was cool. <laughs> oh. That was cool as well. 
He can't, did you see him come up and eat it? It scared me. No, I saw that. It was right. like a monster coming out of the water. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> okay. Scary. I just had a bump, I think. I have to review my footage. See, why do they all fall off? Because they're going crazy. That was a little one. It was probably seven inches. That's about how big mine was. That was a bigger oh, one. There he is. Watch him hit it. Got another clump of fish. All right, tilting. That's all right. The sun is oh, right on it. Water a salmon just swooped at it in here. He was big too could have been the same one it's scary when you're yeah. watching your lure expecting a trout to be following and it's a big salmon like 20 pounds that one was big small followers i had it is. Just talking about it. Whoops. Good spots. I got him. He's got. Just unhook it. There it is. It was wrapped around him. We get, got a tangle a of the century. Who Still haven't it? caught. It's knotted. Don't pull. Holy cow. How did this happen? I cast it right as you caught one. It's a chub. Ooh, I just had a hit. No, I'm not. Chub. Let's see. <laughs> if I do this, it always makes it look big. Let me walk up like this. This is no dice, I think. Huh? I think we're gonna step step off into a hole. Stay along the light, cause it drops. Look right there. Oh, it does. It does go down. It goes down a foot and a half, and I didn't even touch. We had some excitement was outgunned with the salmon action with six pound test on my ultralight just expecting to catch a trout and then you see a big old salmon and then he takes off it's just one of those days we tried so, for him we're gonna get out here soon and get after him we'll catch some for sure he caught a bunch of trout had some salmon action i didn't catch i caught one trout when i wasn't trying to nothing would stay hooked on and off i don't know so yeah, it was pretty exciting for a couple seconds. We'll get at it next time.
What's up? We're at Cabela's. My bail spring broke again on my reel, so gotta get a new ultralight reel. That's what we're hunting for. And some other things we might find. Let's do it. Got ourselves an ultralight. Got the whole combo. So we're out of here, out of Cabela's. Got a new ultralight combo coming soon with trout now that it's salmon season. Peace. Until next time.